Pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors (PNETs) are heterogeneous with different hormone secretion functions and metastatic potentials, but the genetic basis for such differences are not fully clear. Our recent work published in GUT focused on the genetic basis of the two most common type of PNETs, insulinomas and non-functional PNETs (NF PNETs). We proposed a new classification system and helped predict the prognosis. This study was supervised by Professor Yu Pei Zhao and Professor Wen Min Wu from Department of General Surgery, Peking Union Medical College Hospital. The sequencing data of over 200 patients from our hospital and ICGC were analyzed. Among them, insulinoma and NFP nets accounted for about 40% and 60%, respectively. We analyzed the gene mutation and copy number variations of this patient and explore the clinical significance. Whole genome and whole exome sequencing were performed on our samples using the DNB-seq platform, which was developed by BGI. The average depth of the whole genome sequencing was 75x for the tumors and 42x for the paired normal samples. Meanwhile, the average depth of the whole exome sequencing was over 600x for both of the tumors and the paired normal samples to guarantee the sufficiency for accurate mutation calling. We combined our data results from the SCGC database. The integrated analysis revealed distinctive copy number variation and single nucleotide variant patterns. Such results reclassified insulinomas and NF planets into five molecular subtypes, following as main results. The most frequent significant mutant gene was YY1 in insulinomas, but in NF planets were MAN1, DEX, ATRX, P10, and SETD2. According to the result of copy number variation, insulinoma could be clustered into two groups, insulinoma amplification and insulinoma neutral. And NF planets could be clustered into three groups, NF amplification, NF neutral, and NF deletion. Based on that, we proposed five molecular subtypes. The main features are shown in the figure. Firstly, insulinoma neutral showed a higher YY1 mutation rate, but insulinoma amplification with nearly no YY1 mutations. Secondly, the early amplifications preferred different chromosomes between insulinoma and NF amplification. As for the relapse-free survival, both insulinoma amplification and neutral patients had nearly no relapse events, but we found that the NF amplification and NF deletion had a significant worse prognosis than NF neutral. Then we integrated the five molecular subtypes into three prognostic subtypes. First, insulinoma amplification and neutral were combined as insulinoma. Also, NF amplification and NF deletions were combined as NF del. Here, the prognosis of NF neutral was significantly worse than that of insulinoma, but better than NF del. When we took a closer look at NF del subtype, we found that patients with DAXX ATRX mutations had a significantly higher risk of relapse in the first two year period. Finally, we proposed that copy number variations could be used to stratify relapse risk. Relapse risk can be stratified as low insulinoma, moderate NF neutral, and high NF del. Furthermore, NF del with DAXX ATRX mutations is associated with a higher risk of relapse in the first two year period.